Hi guys. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what this crap is, it's just that I got bored in class, so I decided to draw on myself. These are just random marks. Anyways, one of you guys actually dared me to do a video where I put actual makeup on one of my dolls. So I actually thought I should do that. Plus, I also thought that it would be pretty cool to see what a doll makes or it looks like with real makeup on instead of fake. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my Abby doll right here. I know, Gorgianius. And I also have my makeup bag where it keeps all this makeup. I don't, I haven't really bought an actual makeup makeup bag, so I'm just using this plastic bag for right now until I can get a new one. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is clean or try to clean off her face because it's very dirty for some reason. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is all better because I mean, look at her face, it's super duper clean now, which is perfect. Now we can get on to the makeup. Now, the first thing I would probably put on is foundation, but since she has blue skin and not like a white, like a orange or like a tan or like a very light white color, I can't really use it on her. So, we're just going to start with the eyebrows. And, and then we're going to work our way down. Okay, so... First, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get some, like, an eyebrow pencil. Now, as you can see, her eyes look really purple. It's because my sister put permanent marker. I mean, not permanent, but, um, pen on there, and I wasn't able to get it off for some reason. So I guess it was, like, a permanent, uh, pen or something like that. So that's why her eyebrows look purple. But when I first got this Abby doll, it was, like, a brownish color. So... Just to let you guys know about that. Okay, stay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, eyebrow pencil. Now, guys, I'll be right back because I forgot to sharpen this up. So, see you later. Ooh. Okay. So now that my pencil is sharpened, um. Now I can do the eyebrows, and just to let you guys know, I brought the pencil sharpener, I mean the um, eyebrow, or eyeliner, whatever you call it. It can be used for many things, I guess, but I brought that with me for, like, other stuff, like the lip liner and other things like that. But, yeah. Okay, so I might completely fail at this. I don't know. Just depends on what I have for the title of this video. So let's try. Okay, this is looking horrible. Um. Okay, so. Uh. Okay. Not what I really expected, but I guess I'll have to do. Okay, so her eyebrows are now looking bushy on the side, compared to her other one. I should have did it a lot more thin, but oh well. I guess you're gonna have um bushy eyebrows. Abby. Okay, so I moved now her eyebrow part right here is been Are you serious? <laughs> okay, wow. Eh, I guess I'll do. She looks so kind of awesome, pretty ish. I don't know. Okay, guys, before I wanted to do the um, eyeshadow, I wanted to real quick do the eyeliner. So let's get that. So this is actually an eyeliner slash lip liner. So if you got, like, black lipstick, you can use this. If you got white lipstick, you can use this. And if you want it, like, the stuff to go with your lipstick... Then you can also have like the same type of matching eyeliner, which I think that's actually pretty cool. But right now I'm just going to stick with the black. 
Okay, so it was sharpened up before and I actually broke it. So now I'm going to have to resharpen it. Okay, now since it's uh, sort of sharpened, I'm going to go ahead and start now. And already I'm messing up. Kind of. Okay, so I'm trying to get the top line right here. Okay, so this is what it looks like compared to the other eye so far. I mean, it kind of looks the same, except for this side has like a lot, like, doesn't have a filled in space, and this side does. That's like the difference between those two. Okay, so that's what the top part looks like, so let's go focus on the bottom part. I think the eyeliner is the best part so far. It's not really that messed up. Okay. Now it's messed up. It's too thick, but oh well. It's what I did. Hopefully this makeup comes off my doll. I mean, my lipstick does because I actually tried it, but yeah. Okay, it looks like this one is squinted or something. Okay, this is just going to be a new look for her right now. Squinted eye. Oh, you better watch out. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the freaky eyeliner crap, and now it looks completely horrible. Okay, so now I'm going to focus on the eyeshadow, which this is the type of eyeshadow that I use. And I don't know where my brush is. Oh, here it is. It has a little bit of stuff on it, so I'm going to have to wipe it off. Make it all clear. Okay, there we go. If for some reason, like, this stuff won't even come onto you. So it's, like, hard and stuff. So, just so you know, guys know. Okay, so let's go do this. Now, right now, like, I think maybe I should match it with her outfit. And for some reason, her, her pants are pulled down. But So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, anyways. So, I don't know what color I should do, but, I, but like I said, I should do one that matches her look. But, I mean, I have a lot of bright colors that don't really match it, and I have a lot of dark colors that don't also match it. So, I have no idea which colors to do. I guess maybe I could do, like, purple or something. Or, wait, yeah, there's, like, a little blue in the corner that I haven't really used ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that color. Let's see how cool it looks. I actually like this that beautiful color. It's like so shiny. If you can see it. Okay guys, and I'm so happy. Um so I got new lighting in my room and that's why it's brighter than it used to be a long time ago. So yeah, that's a good thing. Plus this by the way, this is my window, so as you can tell, the blinds. Anyways, so let's try our best to do, or I'm going to try my best to do it. Okay, that's weird, but okay. I'll just go ahead and deal with that. I guess it's the eyeshadow on the eyebrow, but who cares? Okay, so that's like the eyes... And that look. Now I'm going to do the lip liner and the lips. Okay, so I already, I have no idea what color I should use because I have lots and lots of lipsticks. I have about five of them. But I use them for like different occasions and stuff. But I don't know which one I should use really. So this is every single one of them. I have this cute red one. Well, it looks dark red, but it's actually light red. And then I have this one that is a very light red. Sorry, guys. I have a lot of red lipsticks. I don't really collect, like, all, like, colorful things. But I will start doing that soon. I have, like, another one, but this one's darker. Now, this one is actually pretty cool because this one is, like, liquidy. 
and this is like a gloss thing to go over it so maybe I could use that and then here's the other one that has this conditioner at the end as you can see and I ha and then this is just like a regular lipstick thing so I, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the one with the glossy for that part because I mean glossy is beautiful right yeah awesome uh-huh I know it but I actually want to make I mean I know that um her lips are super big but I want to make them look a little bit bigger I mean her but mostly every single Monster High doll's lips is super thick so I don't know if I should make it thicker I guess I can just leave it the way it is for the lips and stuff you know I mean, she looks uh, really horrible right now. I don't think Abby's going to be really happy about this. About what? Ugh, whatever. I'll look in the mirror later. Okay, so I actually have... So you know the half and half thing that I had? Well, I have another one of those, which this is like eyeliner or a lip liner. And this is eyeliner or lip liner too, which I think maybe I should do... This one, which by the way, I got these from the um the wild like the company Wild Beauty. Um, this is not really a shout out to them or anything like that, but um my opinion is that they are, have a lot of good beauty supplies. Um, so, same thing with L A Colors. Um, and that and and Wet and Wild, which is pretty much all the things I really have. From, like, and that I don't have that many things. Well, the only thing I got from the Wet and Wild, or Wet, I mean, um, well, yeah, the only thing I got from a, from the Wet and Wild company is like this lip gloss stuff that was like one dollar, which was a really good deal. And um, but I don't have it right now, so I'm sorry, guys, I can't show it to you. And then I got these are like the two, um, Wild Beauty things that I got. Now, this is like an L.A. This is the L.A. colors that I got, too. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, there's like another cool thing, which is called New York City um, color, which that's also a cool brand. But anyways, let's get focused onto these lips. Okay, I don't know how these are going to turn out. Probably horrible. Let's see. Okay, so this is supposed to be the lip liner. Okay, so this is the lip liner that I did. It looks horrible. I put too much on the lips, but who cares? Okay, let's do... The... Oop! Oh, I knocked her over. Okay, so let's do the lips. By the way, this is a really good flavor. It's like, it smells like a cherry-ish flavor. And it's a really cool one. Okay, so this looks horrible. <laughs> okay, so... Nope, you're not going to fall on me right now. So guys, this is her complete look. Um, I'm actually really embarrassed because I'm really bad at doing dolls makeup. I think the Monster High Company can actually do a lot better than me. But anyways guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and tell your friends about me because I don't update. Like some of my videos, then they're going to 